is Dennis Ganaway from Healthy Land and Water. We're on the confluence of the Lower Loch here and Barabara Creeks in the Lockyer Valley. What we're doing here today is managing cat's claw creeper and the weed that you can see on the ground behind me in between the lantana and growing down on the ground is all cat's claw. Uh, as well as up into the trees, all those vines that you see behind are all cat's claw creeper. Cat's claw is introduced as a garden plant. Uh, it subsequently escaped and is now uh, found in just about all of our southeast Queensland riparian zones. The issue with this vine is that it has the capacity to grow up and over uh, trees uh, and actually kill them in the end. Uh, dead trees in an environment like this, in, a, in the riparian environment, are a huge risk of aiding uh, erosion. As you can imagine, in a high flow, uh, the trees are, and the tree roots is what's holding the banks together. Without the trees, uh, in a high flow or flood event, we're going to see large-scale erosion. Uh, that impacts on our water supply. So the objective here is to manage cat's claw creeper, keep it out of our trees, keep our trees alive, keep our banks well vegetated, to uh, diminish the amount of erosion and sediment that's going into the, into the waterways. Management of cat's claw is difficult, laborious and very hard work. Uh, it involves uh, physical labour in having to cut every stem and then chemical treatment of the weed. Once we've managed to spray it, it starts dying back as you can see here. And this opens up the ground and allows for uh, recruitment of our native vegetation, which is what we want ultimately in the end. So all these trees around here, these mature trees, now have an opportunity to propagate and to, uh, to establish new colonies here in these formerly weeded areas. The Riparian Weed Management Program that we're partnering with Healthy Land and Water for is looking to be about $6.4 million over five years, doing large-scale weed control works along the rivers in the Logan, the Mid-Brisbane, the Lockyer, the Upper Brisbane and the Stanley Rivers. This program is a five-year commitment towards the health of our rivers. We realise that we can't do a single year of treatment and expect the weed problem to be gone. It will take five and sometimes many more years for us to make a difference. But what we do know is that the choice is to act now because acting later will be unaffordable and we'll be in a situation where our water supplies are severely degraded.